Hi guys, I'm at the Bimbeka Caves near Bhopal, India, and I want to talk to you a little bit about apps, programs, code, and a lot of words that um, are going to be uh, in the word soup that, that constitutes this class. So let me start with the word app. When you hear the word app, you probably think of a mobile app that you download onto your phone, something that you get by um, going to the app store or whatever, a Facebook app or some kind of photo app or whatever it is that you have on your, on your mobile phone. But that word app actually is a much broader term. It stands for application. And an application really is a set of programs that work together, or one or more programs that work together to give you some kind of, um, uh, to give you some kind of ability, something to, that you can do. So applications are software. Um, that means that they're programs written in programming code. They run on some kind of hardware, right? And they run across a network. They communicate through some sort of network uh, so that your, your computer can communicate with other computers. So an application really is just a piece of software. Um, in this course, we're going to focus on web applications more than any other kind of applications. But before we go into those, I want to let you know that there's lots of other kinds of applications. I already mentioned the mobile app, the kind of small piece of code. And really, they are small. Mobile apps are really tiny applications as applications go um, that run on your mobile phone. There's embedded apps. Embedded apps are embedded in all sorts of things. A camera that I'm using to create this has an application embedded in it. It has some sort of software code embedded in it that, help the, that helps the camera run. Televisions, cars, all sorts of appliances, more and more things every day are getting embedded applications in them. Applications are pieces of software. There's desktop applications. Desktop applications are things like Excel, Word. Your browser is a desktop application. They're, they're programs that are meant to be used really by one person on a dedicated computer. Um, and then there's something that you should be aware of called a client server application. And a client server application these days is not very important, but it's what came before web applications. Before there were web applications with the World Wide Web as, or excuse me, as with the internet as the major global network that, that connects all computers, there were client server applications where there was a specific server, a specific network, and a specific application running on your computer. So the thing to know about a client server app is that it's the older form of web app and web apps have pretty much completely replaced client server apps as the main way that we do computing. Okay, so in this class I'm mostly going to refer to um, uh, systems, not applications. And there's not a great dividing line between systems and applications. I'll usually use the word application when it's a small, well-contained program, for example, like Word or Excel. Those really are more applications than systems. The systems we'll talk about, things like Facebook and Google, World of Warcraft, these are huge, um, massive, interacting parts. Lots and lots and lots of different programs all working together, running over lots of networks, all sorts of hardware involved. Those really are better term systems because they have a lot of sophistication to them and a lot of different, um, a lot of different parts and pieces. So generally, those two terms, there's no great dividing line between what you would call an application and what you call a system. But in this course, I'm really going to focus on systems, though you might hear me use the word application more than once. Yeah, please.